Well, from wildlife to livestock, the North Central Research and Outreach Center conducts year-round studies on one of Minnesota's staples, agriculture. With the summer season picking up, so does the active research on plants, animals, and everything in between. Reporter Mary Ballstead has more. The North Central Research and Outreach Center may cultivate studies throughout its 1,000-plus acre land, but it aims to use those results to help those around Minnesota. Here at this center, or agriculture research, uh, which includes crops and cattle, forages, uh, we have horticulture research here, your fruits and berries and, and gardening type things, uh, as well as wild rice research. I don't think there's ever an end to the need to do research on our food and, and crops uh, to help sustain what we grow and, and need on a daily basis. But along with their research comes unexpected obstacles like the weather or recent inflation hikes. It's like any other agricultural operation. Uh, we experience the challenges that every farmer does with drought, feed costs, fertilizer costs, costs to do things just are always difficult. And, and you know, post-COVID costs of things have been dramatically increased. And so that makes it difficult to operate and do what we need to do. As the active research continues to grow with the plants and animals, the center hopes interest in their work does as well. You can always learn and, and, and grow in, in to your knowledge of what, what's good for the people. There's a lot of stakeholders, you know, for the North East region, that we have a lot of stakeholders and partners that we work with that continue to support what we do. Mm -hmm. uh, you have your local, you know, farmers, cattle producers, you know, gardeners, um, extension, outreach, those sorts of things. Reporting from Grand Rapids, Mary Ballstead, Lakeland News. The North Central Research and Outreach Center will host a visitor's day on July 27th from 9 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.